can stand against the Lord. No one can. No one will. Who can stand against the King? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against the King? No one can. No one will. Oh, 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 oh. victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Jesus, victory belongs to him. Ooh, who can stand against the Lord? No one can, no one will. Ooh, who can stand against the king? No one can, no Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we are grateful this morning for a wonderful opportunity that you've given to us. We thank you for a good night and a good sleep and to see yet another new morning. Lord, we give you glory. We give you all the honor. We worship you because you are a good God and there is none like you. So even as we begin yet another new week, Lord, we want to begin it with you. We ask that you will be at the center of everything that we do individually, but also corporately as a congregation, Lord. We, what an honor, what a privilege to start the week with you, to start the day with you. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor for in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. A very good morning to each and every one of you. Thank you so very much for waking up early and tuning in to a time of our prayer and devotion. And we continue to be very grateful for many of us who wake up in the morning so that corporately we can pray together, we can start the day together, and we can move together as a congregation, but also individually. So wherever you are, as you are getting ready to go to work or you already out and you are in your car, we thank you so very much for tuning in and even today as we begin this week we our focus for this week we will be praying for our nation Kenya is at a very critical time right now as we prepare for election and many things are happening both in the national government in the county government and even uh, in every area and we are just trusting God that we will not be overwhelmed by so many things that are happening so that we forget to pray for our nation. So we're going to pray for our nation, we're going to pray for our wellness, and we're going to pray also for the prosperity of the land. And our anchor scripture this morning is Psalms 91, Psalms 91, and the Bible records that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. 
I will say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. I'll read it again. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I want us to take time right now, even as we go to a time of uh, prayer and reflection. We're going to pray that um, Kenya will find its dwelling in the Lord, that as a nation we will find our dwelling in the Lord. We're going to pray that the altar of worship will be raised in this land, that the altar of worship will be raised in this land as one true God. I want us to take some time and pray that other altars and idols of worship uh, will, will, will not find place during this time, that as a nation we will exalt the most high God. I want us to pray that God will be our safe place as a nation, as a family, that God will be our refuge, God will be our strong tower, God will be our fortress, God will help us as a nation that will have our beacon and foundation remain strong. So even as we begin the week, I pray and ask that God will help us me and you and as a congregation to stand in the gap for our nation. So I want us to take some time and just pray now individually and of course also collectively as we ask God to help us. Father, we thank you for reminding us that he who dwells in the shadow of the Most High will abide in the shadow of your wing, that you are our refuge, you are our fortress, and when we are anchored in you, Lord, we will be more than conquerors as a nation. Father, we leave Kenya to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for giving us a beautiful nation, a beautiful country, oh God, from south to north, from east to west, from central, oh God, in the Rift Valley, in the upper north, in the coastal area. Oh, Father, we thank you as a nation that you have endowed us with so much in this country, Kenya. Father, I pray that you will forgive us those moments that we have taken for granted what you have given to us as a nation and we have raised the idols that do not please you. Father, forgive us, oh God, we are are choosing to raise to an altar of worship in every area of this nation, whether it's in Western Kenya, Lord, whether it's in, in, in Nyanza or Jehovah, whether it's in the Rift Valley, whether it's in the Central Province, whether it's in Eastern, whether it is coastal, all our counties, oh God, that are now represented, the, 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 the 40 plus counties that we have, Father, we, we lift up the altar of worship in every sector. And we pray, Lord, that you will remember us. In this time of election, you will remember us. In this time that there is a lot of tension in, in because of the, the, the various things that are happening, oh God, oh Father, remind us that we are one nation. We are one people. We are under one Kenya, oh God. And if we continue to work together as a nation, if we continue to work together as brothers and sisters, Lord, you will be able to do much more than we can ever think or comprehend for the glory and honor of your name. Father, I pray for the church, that you will use your church to be a beacon of hope. You will use your church to be a beacon of hope. You will use your church to be a beacon of light. You will use your church to be a beacon of love. You will use your church to be a beacon of reason, even in this time, oh Jehovah. Father, we thank you. I thank you for my brothers and sisters who wake up very early in the morning so that we can start the day with you. Father, I pray that you remember them. May you remember their families as they stand in the gap. May you remember their workplaces as they stand in the gap. May you remember their businesses as they stand in the gap for the nation. Father, we thank you. We honor you because we know that you are a good God. We know that you are our fortress. We know that you are our refuge. We know that you are our strong tower. We know that when the Russians run to you, they are safe. And this morning we choose to be safe under your wings. For in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Thank you so very much for 
tuning in and joining us for a time of prayer. Our labor in the Lord is never in vain. And now I want to pray a blessing upon you as you go out to work, as, you, as, as whatever you're going to do today, that God's blessing will be upon you. And now may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine towards you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May he give you hope. May he give you peace in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Thank you for tuning in. See you tomorrow morning in our time of devotions and reflection. God bless you. We love you. We appreciate each and every one of you. And death could not hold you. The veil tore before you. You silenced the boast of sin and grave. The heavens are roaring. The praise of your glory. For you were raised to life again. You have no Victory belongs to you.